The base is a check tactical game for two players, where each of the players controls their unit of three pieces. You can command the explorers who are trying to save their lives, or you can become the mind controller of mutants who are trying to break free. They are all trapped in a remote secret base where a self-destructive system is suddenly triggered. In this game, your goal is to strategically move all your free pieces across the board to the other side to save your crew before the time limit expires and the base explodes. Who is the game intended for? The game is intended for two players from the age of 8 and up and will take about 20 minutes to play. Game preparation. Place a central, double-sided tile with four exits in the center of the board. Shuffle the other tiles and place them randomly face down around the center tile to create a 5x5 tile playing field. These form the base. Each player chooses a unit to play with and then takes the three wooden pieces of the given color. Red are explorers, green are mutants. Both players take five starting slots of their color and shuffle them. Then they randomly place them face up by the edge of the board. This is where the units will enter the playing area from their assigned places. Place your pieces on starting slots by matching the numbers. Uncover the three tiles that are adjacent to the occupied starting slots so that you can step on them. This means the entrance must always face the crew. Assemble the time count and place it next to the playing field. Place the countdown token on the space with number 20. Keep the bonus chips within reach. You are ready to start a game. How to play. The player controlling a unit of mutants starts the game. Players take turns. Each player can do three actions in one turn and they must use all the actions if possible. After both players finish their moves, the round ends. After each round, move the countdown token down by one number. Make sure to not forget that. There are two types of actions a player can freely combine in his turn. Moving their piece and manipulating a tile. Moving the pieces. One action means that a player moves the piece by one space. The movement is only possible on uncovered tiles or starting slots. An adjacent tile can only be entered if both tiles share a passage. The piece cannot move through a yellow wall. Only one piece can be on each tile at once. However, you can pass through the tile at the same time with your own piece. If it is opponent's piece you are stepping on, you can knock them out so that they return to their starting slot. Pieces do not only have to move forward, they can also return, including to the starting slots, if necessary. If the piece reaches its final destination and the opponent's starting slot, it is out of danger and it remains in this place for the rest of the game. This space is now occupied. The second action possible is the tile manipulation. There are two ways to manipulate tiles in this game, namely, uncovering a tile or rotating a tile. You'll always use one action for each of the manipulations. Tile manipulation of a tile begins with its uncovering. A tile that is not uncovered cannot be manipulated. The tile is uncovered simply by flipping it horizontally or vertically. It is not possible to rotate it into a suitable position while uncovering it. The player is only allowed to manipulate a tile that is adjacent to the passage of the tile on which their piece is currently standing. The tile on which a piece is standing cannot be manipulated in any way. The tile can be rotated as needed within one action. Eliminating pieces. The goal of the game is not to eliminate your opponent's pieces, but to move your own pieces to the final destination. Eliminating an opponent's piece is done as a part of one movement and does not take any extra action. Once a player's piece enters a tile with an opponent's piece, they knock it out. The eliminated piece returns to the starting slot with its number and can start a new movement in the next turn. If the starting slot is occupied, the eliminated piece is placed on the nearest unnumbered starting slot. The countdown. The countdown is a very important element of the whole game. The time count with its token represents the base's self-destructive system. At the beginning of the game, the countdown started by itself and there is no way to stop it, only to delay it. The countdown starts at the number 20. For the players, this means that they have 20 rounds to reach the final destination. After each round is played, they move the countdown token down by one. Once the countdown token reaches zero, the basis explodes and the game is over. Bonus actions. Once a piece reaches its final destination, the active player gets one bonus token that can be used in one of the two ways at the beginning of his turn. Either they once get one extra action on their turn so that they have four instead of three, or they move the countdown token on the counter board one space up, thus slowing down the countdown time. Each player can get two bonus chips during the game. It is only up to them whether they use them separately or all at once. 
they hand over the chips after using the chosen bonus action. The end of the game. The game can end in two ways. In both cases, it ends immediately. The game ends when one of the two players reaches the final destination with all their free pieces and wins. Or the game is over when the countdown token reaches zero and the base explodes. At this moment, the player who has more pieces that reach the final destination wins. In case of a tie, the one with the remaining pieces closer to the destination wins. Conclusion The base is an original chick game for two players with an exciting story and simple rules. In this game, you'll always have to be alert, tactical, and think several moves ahead to outsmart your opponent. In addition, the timer of the self-destructive system is always ticking. How do you like the base? Let us know in the comments below. To learn more about our other games, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Keep playing games and don't forget, Dino Toys are fun!